kupitia kwa mafundisho ambayo tumepokea kuhusu ndoa through the teaching that we have been having uh, concerning marriage uh, nilikuwa nikina kile vipengele fulani kuhusu eh, yale mafundisho i was writing some point concerning that teaching uh, hasa kama mwanandoa na, na, na watoto wa familia as a man and a family kuna kitu ambacho mwalimu wetu alikuuza kuuzu baraka ya watoto na wazazi. There is something that our teacher taught us about the blessing of parents to children. Kuna kitu mara mwingi kama mchungaji nilikuwa nakosa upendo kwa watoto wangu. Many times as a pastor I lacked love to my children. Na pia nilikuwa nakosa upendo kwa sababu ya mke wangu. Because even as a pastor I didn't have that good love to my wife. Hata kumwambia kwamba nakupenda ilikuwa ni kama yani yani nikasukuba you walk us. To tell my wife I love you was like I was a shy even like a mountain to tell her. Lakini kupitia kwa mafundisho ambayo nilipokea. But through this teaching that I got nataka nimshukuru Mungu leo asubuhi i want to thank god this morning niliamka tena kumwambia mke wangu nakupenda i wake up early in the morning and i just tell my wife i love you na pia mke wangu akaniambia nakupenda and my wife told me i love you too then then likanipa nguvu that what only gave me strength amen bwana yesu asifiwe praise god na jana pia ndipo toka mafundisho and yesterday when i came from uh, teaching Ah uh, kuna jambo walikuwa nafunza kwa sababu ya watoto wenu. There is something that w- w- they were teaching us about children. Ah uh, wali wali watome fungo katika kitabu cha Mathayo mlango wa 18 mstari wa 22. And the teacher quoted uh, Matthew 18:22 ya kwamba wale ambao wanakosesha hao watoto. The those who people who uh, make these children to stumble ina ina pasa wafunge chiwe na tupe bari that is good for them for the stone to be tied on the neck and thrown in the sea kwa sababu malaika wanaangalia yale ambayo wanatendea watoto because the angels of god are watching over these children ah kuna wakati watoto wangu tumekuwa na watu tuki hatukuelewananga sana there is a time in my life i've been not agreeing with my children hasa mambo ya shule concerning even school kienda shule pengine wanafukuzwa when they go to school they, they, the teacher send them back home wanakuja wanakuwa wakali they come back home and they are very bitter na nikijaribu kuambia kama mchungaji and when i try to tell them as a pastor ya kwamba tu, tu, tumwamini Mungu ya kwamba atufungua mwana i tell my children let us believe in god he'll open door wangu wanakuwa na asira my children become bitter hawakuli they don't eat hawezi kunikaribia and even they don't come near me na moyo wangu pia unakuwa na wasiwasi and my heart i i, my, I, I get trouble in my heart na pia nachukua kipoko na wachapa and now i take the rod and uh, beat them na nilifundishwa jana and when uh, the teacher taught me yesterday kumbe malaika walikuwa na wana wa, wana niangalia the angels who are watching over them and they were looking at me nilichukua nafasi chana yesterday i took a more time nikawaambia na wapenda i tell i told my children i love them nisamee yote ambayo nimeokosea tangu awali and i ask my children to forgive me for every wrong thing that i have done to them in the past na yale ambayo pengine niliwachapa and in that case when i used to beat them nisame and i ask them to forgive me munisame to forgive me watoto wangu wakasema papa tunikusamehe and my children told me daddy we forgive you sasa nilimuona kwamba walipoamka asubuhi i saw today when they wake up early in the morning today wamekuwa na furaha they have been they were happy and happy na jambo ambalo sitalisahau and the one thing that i will not forget nilipata ufunuo kupitia kwa mwalimu i got a revelation through teacher edward ya kwamba unapoamka bariki mke wako that when you wake up early in the morning bless your wife mke wako na kubariki and also your wife to bless you niliweka kwa matendo i practice it today na nikaambia mke wangu pia asubuhi tubariki watoto wetu and i told my wife this morning to bless our children tukawabariki watoto wetu and we blessed 
our children. And we ask our children to bless us. And we see that that is God. And that, since we got married, I, or in my life, I've never done such things. We have never, never done this. So to we have seen, seen this, that is God who has sent you to come and do this, to help us to do this. And I know our teacher, Edward. This teaching, you have brought it at the appointment time. As a pastor. I have got now a way to go and minister to other people and to show this love to many families because it has not been easy. As as Africans, to tell your wife that I love you. That one is a miracle. It is not easy. And I pray to God that every time I get out of my house to hold my the hand of my wife so that people can learn from me that this is the family indeed they know they are God. I thank you Edward and our mom you are coming here has been a blessing to us. And I thank that may God continue to bless you.